For NASA engineers, February 18th marked a landmark moment. After seven months and 131 million miles of flight, landing Perseverance, their beefed-up rover, a mere 16 feet away from their target destination on Mars, a dry lake bed called the Jezero Crater. Now NASA is poised to take its next giant step. Launching Ingenuity, a four-pound mini helicopter that will take off and skim the Martian surface, photographing the terrain. It will have 31 Earth days to attempt to be the first helicopter to fly on another planet. The challenges are many. Ingenuity first must disconnect from the belly of Perseverance. It's a multi-step process already underway. This picture taken Sunday of the detached debris shield. Once Ingenuity is detached, it has 25 hours to gain enough charge from the sun to independently survive a Martian night. Then there's the challenge of actual flight. Mars' atmosphere is only 1% of Earth's atmosphere. So engineers had to develop a special twin rotor system that could provide the necessary lift to get airborne. Also in flight, the helicopter has to control itself, making 500 tiny adjustments every second. Bob Belarum is the chief engineer for the Mars Ingenuity Project. He says it's every bit the Wright Brothers moment. It's just on Mars. I wish we could go back uh, to Kiriok and ask uh, Orville and Wilbur Wright what their thoughts were. Um, it's a very similar in spirit. Perseverance has already sent back Martian images and recordings of wind on the red planet. Perhaps a small taste of what's to come when the helicopter takes off on April 8th, just a few feet north of where Perseverance landed. The flight will consist of a takeoff, a climb to an altitude of 15 feet, 30 seconds of hovering, a turn, and then landing. If successful, Ingenuity will have made history with every move, the first powered flight by an aircraft on another planet. Yeah, here's another little interesting uh, tidbit. Uh, this, this aircraft, if you will, actually is using very similar technology to what's in your cell phone, but it's souped up, of course. And so there's actually more computing power inside Ingenuity than in all previous interplanetary missions combined that NASA has launched. Amazing how quickly the technology God. progresses, right, guys? It's, it's so cool on so many levels. But Tom, as I understand it, Ingenuity set to make history with this first flight, but it's also taking a little history with it as well. What's it taking? Yeah, isn't this cool? Uh, it is taking a postage size stamp, uh, a postage stamp size piece of fabric from the original Kitty Hawk flyer. It is sewn into Ingenuity. And so Ingenuity is literally taking a piece of the past into the present uh, on another planet. So listen, it's cool on so many levels. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Tom Costello, you make Mars so cool, Tom, by the way. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> we should point out that NASA's, uh, one of NASA's associate administrators is also going to be our live guest coming up on the third hour I as well. I love that they're not, they're not only scientists, but they're bringing, they're just creative, bringing yes. that history. Yes. I mean, that was such a cool idea. Yes. Good luck. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.